Kaylee, what is our third main topic today? Our third main topic comes from Martin DeJong. Hey, John, saw on the Newswire today that your fellow good Canadian kid, Simu Liu, just signed up to star in his own adventure series on Amazon Prime called Seven Wonders. I don't know much about it, but apparently it's being directed by Justin Lin. So you know the action is going to be great. What do you think of this? And do you worry this could interfere with Simu doing Shang-Chi 2? Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right. Thanks a lot for writing that in, man. And yeah, listen, I love Simu Liu. I mean, not, not only because he was in one of the best comedies I've seen on television for a long, long, long time with Kim's Convenience, but then he's a good Canadian kid. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, got introduced as Shang-Chi, which, I mean, everyone's like, who is this kid? I'm like, you haven't watched Kim's Convenience. So, and he just the way he's handled it and all that kind of stuff, he's great. He gave us what I think is the best fight scene in all of the MCU with that bus fight scene and every fight with his dad. It's just amazing. Love it. But you knew that was going to be the start of a rising star. And now he's got this series going on with Amazon. This comes from the folks over at Deadline who write the following. <laughs> Prime Video is developing Seven Wonders, an action-adventure series based on the Ben Mertrich, Mers Mesrich? Whatever. No, I'm going to call him Stinky. Uh, headlined and executive produced from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Ring star Simu Liu. The project, written by a Adam Kazad, Kazad the legend of Tarzan, uh, and, uh, and to be directed by Justin Lin, Seven Wonders centers on Dr. Nate Grady, played by Liu, a brilliant botanist adventurer who teams up with the slippery international fixer Sloane Sidhu on a breathless race to solve an ancient mystery tied to the seven wonders of the ancient world. Lin is best known for directing multiple installments of Universal's Fast and the Furious franchise, along with Star Trek Beyond, which I actually thought was the best Star Trek of the new uh, Star Trek movies. He recently was tapped to direct One Punch Man, the live-action film adaptation of the worldwide uh, manga series for Sony Pictures, specifically for Ray Ora. Yeah! All right. So Justin Lin, known for directing a lot of the Fast and Furious, actually maybe even most known for walking, walking away. off of the latest, <laughs> like walking <laughs> off set of the latest Fast and Furious. We'll see how that all turns out. Hey, listen, I think this sounds great. Bringing back the old style adventure. I I've been wanting that. People are looking for that in the National Treasure because we got the National Treasure being rebooted and stuff like, or not rebooted, but being continued as being brought over as well to see this is great i love seeing that his career is now going beyond just shang chi that he is going to be able to expand this out and he's got some other projects on the way as well Hans. but for this to be his own starring vehicle adventure series working with a director like justin lynn i think there's nothing not to love about this whole thing anyway chris you hear about it what do you think about it? Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I did have to do a little research, though, because the first thing that comes up when you look at Seven Wonders is a board game. It's like a board game adaptation. Don't give me a battleship situation. <laughs> this sounds really interesting with the whole botanist ancient secret mystery thing. I love this. I think it's going to be really fun. He's an incredible actor. Like you, I was introduced to him through Kim's Convenience and was just so thrilled so when he got Shang-Chi. I, he has a really busy schedule coming up, too. I mean, he's in tons of stuff. He's got One True Loves. He's got the Barbie film coming out. There's tons Keep of stuff Keep forgetting in the about work. the Barbie film, you yeah. know. A lot, a lot of spinning plates here. So I don't think this is going to interfere with Shang-Chi, first of all. Even though he has a very packed schedule, I think that people understand Marvel when you are a flagship character. Probably going to take a little bit of a, a front seat, right, for your scheduling. And I'm sure they're going to work around all that. I think we can have all these things, and he can thrive in all of them. And I'm excited to see what they do. Yeah, I mean, and not to mention, too, don't forget that Shang-Chi's director, uh, Dustin, he is, or Destin, I should say, He's got that little Avengers movie that that's going to be holding a lot of essential. I don't, yeah. know, that gonna of essential. I don't yeah. know that they were going to be running on new Shang-Chi anytime soon. And if he does pop up in some other project, then his time commitment is going to be limited compared to like when it's his own movie. So I think yeah. there's a lot of room for that. For anyway, sure. Aaron, you hear about this. What do you think the sounds of the show? And do you think this is going to interfere with Shang-Chi at all? I love that everybody's like, oh my gosh, what about his schedule? What, how, how is he going to squeeze all of this in? Um, there's a lot of people being paid a lot of money to worry about these things. We have our own problems we need to worry about. <laughs> and uh, Simi Liu's schedule is not one of them. Last week, we had Campia Classroom where we looked at the entire lineup and the schedule for the MCU for the next 85 years. And uh, nowhere in the near future is Shang-Chi. As you said, the director is currently tied up in other projects. At this moment, the 
the the shang chi sequel is currently untitled we don't have a release date we don't have a filming date we don't even have anyone in the cast except for simu lu and um so there's really nothing that we need to be talking about in the world of shang chi and let's face it I know that everybody thinks that if an actor is on a is in a really big movie that they're super famous that that means that they have an unlimited amount of money coming into them at all times and they never need to worry about it. But the thing about it is, if you are an actor, um, a lot of your money goes away before it's even come to you. This is true. And so actors have to constantly be generating more and more and more work, which means that as soon as one project ends, you got to go right into another project. Because, and I'm not, and I know already people are like, oh my God, I roll, he's got enough money. Yes, at the same time, it's about a constant stream of revenue for the money part. It's also about a constant stream of projects for the relevance part. And those two things go hand in hand. So the fact that he's doing his big blockbuster movies, but he's also able to balance that with doing a series that can live on in perpetuity and continue to be rediscovered, and he can come back to it for season after season, that is the way that teams create actors who have their hands in lots of different pots. Because... He doesn't know what's going to happen. I mean, what was it we were saying that just the moving, that just the delaying of Blade, the, of, the, of the new Blade caused movie, domino has caused this domino effect. So it's a really smart thing for anyone to not put all of their eggs in one basket. And if he was just going to wait around for the sequel to his movie and not have all these other projects lined up in the meantime, like that's just... That's just bad investing. So I appreciate the fact that he's diversifying his portfolio by doing television and, or excuse me, streaming and movies and, you know, doing supporting roles in other movies like Barbie that, you know, is more of a Margot Robbie vehicle that he's supporting. You know, I think it's a really smart decision for him. And I say, let's not worry about his schedule. He's got it under control. As far as money goes too, if you think Simu Liu got paid more than $2 million for Song chi that's adorable. Oh, I guess yeah. MCU is also, you know, they're known like, hey, you, this is your first movie. We, we're going to pay you what you're... Now, his paycheck's going to go up. The other thing, too, is this. Uh, I wouldn't worry about Seven Wonders interfering with his Marvel scheduling. I guarantee you they're doing Seven Marvels or Seven Wonders because they consulted with Marvel. They knew when his when he's not doing anything. So they probably worked it around his Marvel shooting schedule anyway, so I don't think it's going to interfere. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I think this sounds like a lot of fun. I love the actor. I love the director. It's an adventure kind of thing, a little bit of an Indiana Jones kind of feel to it. We've been needing more of that kind of stuff, I think. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. You guys know we have been sponsored by Masterclass and we love them here at the John Campia Show for giving us in-depth information on a wide variety of topics from the world's best experts. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn the art of filmmaking from James Cameron, improve your cooking skills from Gordon Ramsay, or learn how to make compelling YouTube videos from Marquise Brownlee. With over 150 classes from a range of world class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. I was recently watching through the independent filmmaking course by Spike Lee, and I found it fascinating that not only did he cover the broader topics like working with actors, but he also gets into finer details like working with a cinematographer and how to properly audition a DP for your project. It was fascinating. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class, and as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to Mass masterclass.com slash campia now that's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off masterclass